Hello all, I am back with another kind of midweek Aldi haul. Um, we are getting ready for Christmas break at work and it is one of my teammates' birthdays this week. Um, and we always try to do like a little something. Um, we usually try to bring lunch for like our teammates. So it's like, you know, three or four of us. And so we all try to bring like a little something and pitch in and do a lunch that we can eat. And so we're going to bring lunch tomorrow and we usually save our leftovers and eat them for lunch on Friday as well. Um, so we decided to do kind of like a beef nacho thing. So um, another girl is bringing the beef and the beans. And so I was in charge of bringing um, the other stuff so um, most of this is to bring to work so I had to stop at Aldi so most of this is not grocery for me but it's nevertheless a grocery haul and so again I'm just gonna kind of use it as one of my experimental um, shopping trips so um, we will start up here with the tortilla chips um, I got the kind of scoop tortilla chips because like like I said we're doing like a kind of nacho type thing and so I got these two bags of tortilla chips and um, at Walmart the cheapest I paid um, for tortilla chips and they weren't even the scoops they were just like the normal tortilla chips um, the cheapest I've ever paid at Walmart was $1.98 um, and these were $1.79 a piece so I saved about 19 cents per bag and they're the same ounceage um, as that other bag that I had bought at Walmart so um, hopefully they'll taste all right. Tortilla chips are usually just tortilla chips. Um, I usually can't tell a difference unless, of course, you get like the flavored ones. Um, so I got two bags because, you know, I figure one bag for Thursday and then we'll, we probably won't finish the second bag on Friday, but we'll probably at least have to open it. Um, so if we don't use the second bag, of course, I can eat them at home, but I decided to buy two just to be safe. So um, again, $1.98 at Walmart, $1.79 at Aldi. Um, this I had to stock up. I was actually so excited. I went in today on a Wednesday and Wednesday is apparently the day that they start the new ads. Like a lot of grocery stores start the new ad on Sunday, but at Aldi it is Wednesday. And so I actually in, I think it was like a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks. It was whenever I did my first Aldi haul. Um, I bought celery cause it was a produce pick of the week. And I actually cut that up and celery keeps so well in your fridge. Um, if you keep it in like a zip bag or a tub um, it keeps for like a good two to three weeks without getting bad at all or even wilty um, so I actually last night I ate like six celery sticks and um, finished it up and I was like oh man I'm out of celery so um, when I went in today it was actually on sale again and I was like yes you know it's meant to be it's fate um, and so these big stalks of celery and you know I noticed something that I want to mention the last time I bought a stalk it was kind of small but this time, um, there was like another uh, cardboard like box, you know, underneath. And um, those ones seem to have bigger stocks. So I think, I don't think that these are like all the same weight or size. They're just hearts of celery. And so some are bigger than others. So um, I just kind of looked and I tried to grab the more substantial ones to just get more because they were all the same price since it wasn't by weight or anything. Um, so anyway... Um, at Walmart, um, before I bought like the pre-cut, pre-washed celery, and it's like $1.98, um, but I wanted to look up a more comparable price because, you know, obviously they're going to mark it up if it's already pre-cut and pre-washed. So I looked up like the comps for fresh celery at Walmart, and it seems like in my area the average price is $1.43. So I'm going to use the $1.43 price for Walmart instead of the $1.98 because, again, I want to be fair and make it a true and legitimate comparison. So. Um, anyway, the average price or the cheapest price for like a celery stock at Walmart is about $1.43. And of course, since these were a produce pick of the week, they were $0.69 cents a piece. So I saved um, $0.74 cents on each one. And so I did get three because I've been snacking on celery like nobody's business. Um, I'm going to cut those up tonight, wash them, and put them in my fridge. And they'll be good for uh, at least two, almost three weeks just as a snack. And so um, because of that, I had to get some more. Or easy cheese or squirt cheese whatever you call it now I am again wary of this um, I usually only buy the name brand easy cheese I think it's Kraft maybe um, it's like the sharp cheddar and so I don't know I've tried um, like the off-brand or the 
generic brand uh, squirt cheese before and it did not taste the same so I'm, I'm doubting this will taste the same but I'm going to give it a try um, so this was the um, name brand one that I usually buy at Walmart is 388 and this was 229 so it was a dollar 59 cheaper so it was a lot lot cheaper than the one I buy at Walmart and these last a long time and obviously I use this you know for the celery um, and the one that I have is not currently out but I figured since I was getting three stalks of celery I might run out before all the celery is gone so I picked one of those up I'm gonna give it a try if it's bad, well, I won't buy it again, but I'm experimenting with shopping Aldi, and again, it was a dollar and 59 cents cheaper there, so it, hopefully it'll be just as good, and I can save, you know, that money from now on, so I picked up one of those. Um, the last two items I picked up um, were not for me. These were for work, for the nacho thing. Um, and I'm about to cut these up, so I wanted to film this before I did that. Um, so I bought a head of iceberg lettuce, because obviously to put on top of the nachos. Um, at Walmart, um, I've purchased iceberg lettuce many, many, many times. And so I looked back at my receipts on Savings Catcher. And it looks like I pay about $1.58 per head of lettuce almost every single time. Um, and this one was $1.29. It was on sale or a produce pick of the week or anything so that's like the everyday price I believe at Aldi um, so that was 29 cents cheaper so over a quarter saved just on buying the lettuce there and the last thing I bought was this tub of grape tomatoes I believe it's a pint I'm not sure it's nine ounces a pint I don't know um, you think I would know that um, but Anyway, this is like the same size container I get at Walmart. Um, so anyway, at Walmart, grape tomatoes are usually $2.48. I think I've gotten them for $2.20 before, but my receipts kept saying $2.48, so that's the price I used to compare. Um, and this one, again, was not on sale. It was just their everyday price, and it was $1.99. So I saved $0.49 cents on the tomatoes. All right, so all in all, before tax at Aldi, this was $11.22. If I would have purchased these exact items at Walmart before tax, it would have been $16.19. So that is a savings of $4.97 or 31% just by shopping at Aldi. Again, no coupons, no effort ahead of time. And so I am really enjoying that since I haven't had the time to coupon lately. Um, it's nice that I can still save money with zero effort at all. Um, so anyway, after tax, just in case you're wondering what my after tax final be all end all price is um, it was eleven dollars and seventy two cents for everything you see here so I didn't make out too bad um, like I said most of this is for work but still um, I didn't spend have to spend a lot you know to contribute to that and I want her to have a good birthday because I love her so um, I'm still gonna take it out of my grocery budget um, I do have a little money left over and even though some of it's not groceries for me it is still food so it is gonna come out of my grocery budget even though a lot of it's not for my groceries so all right so really quickly I would just wanted to show you guys I did cut up my celery um, so this is all three stalks after of course I threw away you know the part that you don't eat um, so this is a gallon Ziploc bag um, you can see it's completely full um, almost where it doesn't want to close and that was three of those 69 cent stalks of celery so for two dollars and seven cents um, I have that much snack food so that's one thing I love about celery well actually there's two things three things I love um, one it tastes good uh, two it keeps for a really 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 long time um, and three it yields a lot so you get a lot from it um, compared to like other produce and I don't know if you guys do the same thing but just in case you don't here's a little trick if you will just take a clean paper towel after you wash your celery and put it in the bag if you'll just put a dry paper towel in there with it um, it just kind of absorbs the moisture and it literally I've had celery stay good for like over a month before for. So um, just a little trick if you want to try it. Um, so that is ready for the fridge. I've got my easy cheese over there <laughs> to make something healthy become unhealthy. Um, but the thing is I barely put a lot of cheese in it. Obviously you know you just put it down the center and I don't like fill it where it's heaping. I really just put like a thin little strip just to give it you know an extra taste. I do like celery by itself but it's extra extra good if you do put cheese on it. So Anyway, um, that is it. I just wanted to show you how much I actually got from those three stocks. Again, that's $2.07, and I've paid $1.98 for, like, a much smaller bag um, at Walmart. So, yeah, that's it. Bye.